I'm going to use a phrase which is slowly making its way into the description of America. Now you see, America used to be considered as the free world. You could go there, set up your business, thrive, live comfortably, live a nice life. But nowadays, it's slowly becoming a failed society. Now the video that I'm going to be showing you guys today is from a beautiful man named Khalid Ataf. He runs a corner shop and he basically just has a little camera set up and he'll just basically record all day and he just posts the interesting moments up. It's honestly a great channel. If you're bored and you don't have anything to do or if you're just about to go to sleep, it's, it's kind of interesting to just kind of watch his videos because you see the failed society slowly emerging through his shop. You see all these different kind of crimes going on. You see all of this like just degenerate behavior going on in his shop and it's just awful. Anyway, the video that I found today I think is really kind of summing up how bad the US is kind of becoming, the direction that it's going in, at least within the working class. Maybe the middle class is a little bit better and the upper class is definitely way better than this, but the working class is definitely slowly emerging towards this direction. And I think it has been for a long time, but I think this video really kind of sums up how awful it is, especially with how children are slowly starting to get involved with the issues. It used to just be like the parents of the adults struggling with it, and now it's the children as well. And with the adults, kind of almost giving up on life and starting to make jokes about it being like oh yeah whatever who gives a shit and oh yeah the child wants this yeah whatever yeah you want to smoke your cigarettes yeah go anyway yeah let's get into the video get a pack of russia cream backwards pack of russia cream backwards mm -hmm. like those right there what are you gonna do with them smoke them so the video starts off smoking quite literally you have a probably a 13 or 14 year old girl she might even be younger than that going up to the counter and asking for cigarettes. The fact that she is confident enough to just go up to the counter and ask shows that she has been able to do this before at different shops. And today she's just tried this guy and her luck is not on her side. I really cannot believe this. It's already just an awful start. Uh, let's just keep going. Smoke them. How old are you? 21. You're 21? Mm -hmm. What year were you born? Oh, why you acting like that? Get this girl her backwoods. Yeah, that's serious? Real. Yeah, I know each other? No! Yeah! I love how this guy instantly figures out their game plan. He knows that as soon as the woman steps in, he knows that she's working with her. She knows that they're working together. It's just so obvious the way that she comes over and instantly starts talking, almost loud mouth and straight away. It's just ridiculous. It's obvious that this girl is underage and it's just a terrible start so far. The fact that she said that she's 21 as well is almost laughable. Maybe if she said that she was 19 and that she just really wanted them and needed them, maybe she could have gotten away with it. He probably would have said no. But the fact that she said 21, there is no way in hell. I mean, I'm not being funny, but you could literally take an 11 year old. You could take someone who's younger than her and ask and they'd still say no way she is 21. How old are you? Hold on, how old are you? I'm, I'm 20. You're 20? You just said you were 21. I know. She so really funny. Give her how much. What year were you born? I was born <laughs> since born in 2002. We'll give her how much. 2002. The master plan is slowly falling apart here. He asks her one of the most crucial questions and the easiest question to answer. Any human on the planet, unless you've had an abusive childhood where your parents never told you, you should be able to answer what year you were born. And if you can't, then you either are lying about your age or you were just never told and you have to make an estimated guess. What year are you born in? Instantly buffering. I'm sorry, you don't even need to use maths here. I can't, I can't believe this. Yeah, can, I, can, I, can I see any form of identification? <laughs> you be, come on. You don't, you don't, that's too much. Why? He understandably asks for ID. They start saying, yeah, you're doing too much, man. Yeah, you don't need to do that. It's like, he is running a shop. If he sold these cigarettes to a girl, who's clearly underage, and there's someone in the shop who's going to, just by a small chance, call the police, his shop is finished. Straight away, it's done for. So the fact that these people don't seem to understand why he needs ID is just ridiculous. I I can't believe it, man. Their reaction to uh, him asking for ID, which is such a simple thing, she'd just be like, yeah, here's my wallet, boom. Yeah, ID, there you go, yeah, I'm 21, whatever. It's like, I cannot believe it. I, I don't know if y'all just playing or y'all dead serious right now. We dead serious. How old are you? I am 22. I'm dead serious. So you want to buy them for her? Yeah. Come. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. 
Come on, let me be here for one. At this point, I think they're starting to give up a little bit. You can see the girl on the right. Her face has just kind of changed a little bit. She's just like, hmm. Yeah, not looking likely today. And the guy actually thinks that they're joking. But I mean, I can't blame him. The fact that she's come in, it looks like a YouTube prank where they're trying to see if people will sell cigarettes to underage people. It's like, I just cannot believe it. And then he asks, like, if the girl on the left is going to be buying for it. And she just says, yes. The plan is crumbling. It really is. This guy is really outsmarting them. Uh, you've got a chessboard. He has got them in checkmate already. You ran up lights, no funny shit. Bro, she like nine. <laughs> 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 she here for a reason. She's not old enough to smoke. Give me the blunt. Here you go. And now the audience starts to get involved. You get the. Oh man, what are they called? The people that shout from the side of the stage. I can't remember the names, but yeah, you get those people starting to come in now and now the whole audience is involved. So the way that this unravels is truly hilarious. He kind of, he gets a strong kind of amount of control over the crowd. Yeah, let's just watch some of it. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let y'all vote. So y'all think I should give this nine-year-old a blunt? Yes! <laughs> give me the blunt. Give me the blunt. Give me the blunt. The disbelief on this man's face is hilarious. When he turns back to look at the camera, you can see the surprise on his face. The fact that he's just asked, clear adults, everyone in the background, is, they're clearly adults. He's just asked, should I get this nine-year-old cigarettes? And they all say, yes. I think this truly really shows how much of a failed society the US is slowly becoming, if it's not already. At least the the working classes. I am just in disbelief here. I can't. I really can't. I'm sorry. You love it. You love it. What he's saying here is completely fair. He can't do it. He literally legally cannot do it. He cannot let himself do it. It's just ridiculous. And their reactions are like, oh yeah, you're doing too much. Yeah, you're over it. Like, it's just absurd. I cannot believe it, man. I'm not I'm not about to sit here. And I'm gonna feel guilty after that, you know? You know what? I don't want the money, honestly. Forget you. Okay? Forget him. So y'all is together. And they gave up there, they made their way out of the shop. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea in the first place. If you look at a well established corner shop, they're gonna have their shelves completely stacked, and he clearly doesn't need the money. And then. If you're going to choose that as your prime target for trying to buy cigarettes for an underage girl, it's just not going to work. Maybe if you go to a corner shop where their shelves aren't stacked and they are in clear desperation for money, okay, maybe you can get away with it. Overall, I just think this is really kind of summing up the direction that the US is going in. Don't get me wrong, there's been issues in the working class for a long time now, but this is really starting to show how the effect is actually starting to emerge onto children as well. And nowadays, the youth are hands down the most important people in society because they almost determine the future of it. So it's really important to make sure that these children are well educated and that they understand the importance of the future of their society. And at the moment, that is slowly phasing out. So overall, I just had to share this video because it is just so terrible. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are about it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.